so hi everyone so in our previous sessions i have explained you uh, what is apim what are products what is a developer portal and also i have explained you how to import open api swagger definition using a open api you can see this is the srikanth api which we imported in our previous sessions so if you didn't watch the videos uh, go and watch my previous sessions so that you will have a good understanding on these videos okay so in this series i am going to explain you what are products and what is a developer portal how to use uh, efficiently apis as well as products within a developer portal okay let's get started first i'll explain you uh, how to customize our developer portal okay then we'll go with the products so just click on developer portal if you scroll down we have an option for portal overview here there is an option of uh, deprecated de developer portal this is the old portal everyone is explaining this deprecated developer portal please don't watch this so uh, anyhow microsoft is going to remove this in next few months so don't work with this deprecated developer portal okay i am opening uh, our developer portal let's even open a incognite window copy the developer portal url in the incognite window it will take some time guys actually developer portal is a little slow it's under development still so they haven't published the you know stabilized version yet so it will take some time yeah you can see this is our customized developer portal so all these wizards you can see here the cust this is a logo the all these wizards these buttons all these can be customizable as per your development purpose if you scroll down still you can see there are many content which was by default came with the developer portal you can remove this if you don't want this uh, and also you can uh, even you know format you can change the font of the text you can change the color of the text as per your as per your development purpose so let, let let's first change this customized developer portal let's try to change this text yes in the same way like we can add multiple wizards multiple buttons over here you see we can add multiple wizards these are the templates by default you can add them you can go from the library you can pull up from the library or from your local system as well so and also we'll try to change this contoso instead of this contoso we'll try to edit it so by default this is a contoso logo just click on that so if you scroll down earlier i have uh, uploaded a file Let, let's upload a new file so we'll upload a uh, our azure api itself just scroll down yeah you can see the latest uploaded png just click on that so that it will add it you can even customize the width and height height as well just click on upper row it will increase the height you can even increase the height or width everything yeah you can parallelly look at here like how it is changing right fine so once it is done you can save the changes don't forget to save the changes if you if you forget to save the changes and if you refresh the screen everything will be lost okay you can customize the way you want actually all these are by default you know if you add a plus button you will get all this you can add the pictures you can add text you can add buttons you can even play youtube videos by giving the url in it just click on this yeah. in this you, you just give the url of the video which you want to play and also you can customize the the blank uh, you know uh, this is these all are uh, wizards if you still scroll down you can even add the apis as well you see this users we can add the users as well i'll explain you what are the users and what are products in the next series okay so these apis are nothing but here they are so api product sign in and sign up page if you scroll down and just click on any of the add button so just scroll down 
you can see the apis what are we can list the apis i'll show you one by one even the users we can list the users so we can have a sign in sign up button sign out sign out buttons even the products we can list all the products Oper operations all these details analysis we can even uh, uh, get the analytics of all these uh, apm products that we published okay let's try to refresh the page i think we have published but don't forget go back we haven't pub published it yet go to portal overview here there is an option for publish click on publish fine once you publish your changes it will definitely reflect in your developer portal you see this even we'll go to incognito mode you see this by default it, it didn't, you can see that customized developer portal and everything just ref, try to refresh the screen yes you can see our new window this is the welcome sticker that the text we have added and this is our logo for this developer portal yeah so if you see here there is a api tab even there are products tab I clearly told you how to customize them. I haven't customized it yet, but you can customize them even in the developer portal. If you scroll down, just click on any one of the add button. If, still, if you scroll down, see you have this API session where you can customize the API tab. You have user session where you can customize the user tab, and also the product session where you can customize it. So all the sign in, sign up, all these you can customize the way you want. Okay, so. Let me explain you the products now. The developer portal uh, customization is done. Let me explain you the products. What are products? See, a product is nothing but combination of multiple APIs, right? Each API contain multiple operations, wherein product is nothing but a combination of multiple APIs. So it is used for the development pur purpose before publishing the changes. Okay, these all uh, products are being used by our other developers. That is fine. We'll click on add button to create a new product. Today's date is let's create with the name viewers. We'll leave as is, we'll publish it later on. Requires approval, we can we can add a require approval or not. If you still scroll down, there is an option for API. So as I told, a product is nothing but a combination of multiple APIs. You can directly add your APIs or search your APIs here. We'll add it in the product itself. As of now, we'll try to create it. Uh, we need to give some description. Wait. So once you create it, it will automatically redirect to your products page. Here you can see that viewers is the product that we have added. Yeah, you can see there is no APIs currently. We have we have not added any APIs. Let, let's add a new API here. So it will list all your APIs in the APIM. Just select the API that you want to add it and click on select. So you can see it will refresh here. So yes, Srikant API is being added now. Okay. So just go back to your developer portal, go back to APIs. Go back to APIs. It takes time to refresh actually. Fine. Fine. Click on API. will open the developer portal control shift n control v so earlier we customized the developer portal and now uh, I'm, i will explain you how to view the products in the developer portal by signing into each user okay currently uh, there is a sign in option so no user has been signed in but we can see the apis that are listed under our apim you can uh, click on the APIs. It will show all the operations that are present in it. You can execute them. But the but our agenda is to explain the products, right? So once you click on the products, you can see, once you click on the products, you can see the product starter, create product, and un unlimited. 
okay these are the products that i have added earlier but still you cannot see the viewer product that we added now okay for that if you want to see it you need to publish the product okay you need to publish the product before publishing let me explain you by creating a new user so we need to give access for that product for a user okay let me add a product uh, add a user last name your user at the rate okay we'll give the same password your user don't forget the password so once you add it a new user is being created here you can see viewers user okay go back to the products again you need to give access for that user for this product go under the views so go to views here you have an option for access control right so add the group by default all new users will fall under the developer access developer okay you can add this group so by default all the uh, new members whatever we have added they all are fall under the developer group once you refresh yeah meanwhile it is being refreshing meanwhile let me add the group yeah i think it's added so let me log in from the incognito window for our developer portal click on sign in so it's still taking time okay it will ask you for the email id as well as the password you was at red email.com let me try to give incorrect password sign in it gives wrong incorrect password let me try to give the correct password now fine you can see that sign in so for this user we haven't added any products right i'll show you how it is so go back to products you can see the apis under section under this session go back to settings the thing is you haven't published this product right once you click on publish and click on save you can see this product for this user okay because you haven't published it the reason why it is not showing you here just refresh the screen again you can see the product is being added here currently we have logged in with the user yeah user uh, viewer user so you can see the view you was this is the product that we have published right now just scroll down you can see all the apis that are being listed we just added a single api click on this api you can see all the operations that it will list here under that api yeah you can directly try try to execute them you can test them here so if if you, if you scroll down just remove the unnecessary headers you can send there you go you got the data go to the other operation remove unnecessary headers scroll down click on send there you go fine so still go back to products so if you think that you know you, you don't want to uh, publish the product you can again unpublish it save the changes again go back to incognito window click on products it will not show the product that that you have unpublished it right now okay this is the use of products like we can have we can create multiple users we can give access uh, for each user for uh, individual products so that once the products development is done you can publish them see you can see here there are most of the products are not yet published so they are still under development and testing phase once they are published once they are, the development is done you can publish them so that the user can see in the developer portal fine okay so in this session i explain you uh, clearly like what is a product how to customize the developer portal and how to use the products and apis inside the developer portal that's it if you have any comments just leave it in the chat box i'll try to reply for all of them so 
please subscribe to the channel uh, i'll be posting a new videos for uh, from azure resources in the upcoming sessions thank you guys